Good morning and welcome back to the channel folks. Chris Fallon here and we're all about reselling, running, lifestyle and everything in between. And today we're getting out doing another thrift. Uh, another episode of Sourcing Photo. Now this may actually be the last thrift before the end of the financial year. Now obviously end of financial year when all things reset for the business world and I'm excited because, well, this is the final chance to pick up any goodies for this year. But also, but also, I need to go do some uh, errand runs around picking up some more supplies, whether it's uh, some tubs, uh, some postage supplies, all those good things, simply because um, it's a chance to offset any additional income with expenses before the end of the financial year. So, we're going to do that. However, I'm gonna quickly get off this because I can see a whole bunch of coppers in front of me, so I'll talk soon. All right, we're back. So it was just a breatho setup, basically. Yeah, just doing a drug and alcohol test. Uh, I passed, obviously. Okay, so <laughs> what was I saying? So yeah, so I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of things just to um, yeah, finalize any potential expenses that I can use to offset the total income for the end of the financial year. So I'll be doing that today. But I am also thrifting with Cam. So I'm meeting Cameron at a thrift shop. We're gonna do that one together then he's gonna jump in with me we'll hit a couple of others gonna do a trip to Sabres most likely assuming time's all good um, yeah so it's, it's a big day it's a good day um, little secret is the way to win the day is win the morning right and I was up at 6 I did my 10 listings still need to do a bit more listings today but I'll probably do that at the end of the day after seeing what goodies we can pick up from the thrift so wish me luck I'm excited you know me always hoping for the best expecting the best but need to take it easy probably won't be having the usual segments of chippies and snacks but we will be having lunch together so um, well not you and me just me and Cam uh, but yeah so come along for the ride lots of fun jump down into the timestamps if you want to jump around and see what else is happening otherwise I'll see you at the first op shop let's do it folks all right team we're pulling up at number one and I've just heard from Cammy that he's gonna be uh, gonna be a bit delayed so I'm gonna start without him get all the goodies all the good stuff you know how it is um, and he will be here probably about 20 minutes later so see you in a jiffy All right, so I've just picked up two of these glass um, crystal leads bells. <laughs> and uh, I should be able to get $25 a pop from I paid four bucks for the two. So, just gonna do some adjusting. I need to wrap them up. Anyway, still waiting for Cam. Yeah, good morning, guys. Busy day today. <laughs> it was a bit late. Uh, I'll catch you soon. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go park his car somewhere so we can leave it, and then uh, we're gonna head off and uh, go to the next one. All right, team, so I've got Cam now, finally, and we're going to go um, jump into, oh, they're still opening up. We're gonna go jump into number two. Um, it should be pretty good. We're here just as they've opened. Um, so nice and, nice and early, early bird gets the worm. That's mm, what we want. Nice and easy. So we'll see you in there, folks. 50% off all of them, so lots of goodies. All right, team, so we have done wonders in there, as we said, as we were in there, um, it was 50% off all DVDs, and they always got all the all the bundles of TV series and whatnot. So I've basically picked up 
must be about um well, it must be about six bundles because I think I had two loose ones. Mm. So, but we've paid forty five bucks and I've come out with about six seasons, um, six season bundles, meaning probably six lots of five DVDs and then I've got a couple of single DVDs as well. So, doing pretty good already. Um, like Supernatural season one to six, I think that was twenty bucks, so we got that for ten dollars. Got House season one to five. I mean, you would have seen the the, the videos I was just showing you before. So. Pretty good. And Cam, you've, you've picked up some goodies for yourself, haven't you? Yeah, I've got some. I think the biggest one was this. Oh, the Jackass. Uh, yeah. Jackass, the TV and movie collection. It's uh, all three movies with the uncut editions as well. Should do all right. And the TV show. So I'm keen to watch them all. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you haven't seen them. Well, actually, I don't well, think I've, I've seen, seen them, them, but I haven't seen the TV show. Oh yeah, I don't think I've seen the TV show. All right, we're off to Sabres now. Oh yeah. And that's fine. Um, and hopefully we'll pick up there as well. I'm going to be careful with how much I'm spending. But uh, as usual, yeah, Cam's a bad influence. Mm. Yes, I'm going to blame Cam. All right, we'll see you soon, folks. We're rocking up at Savers. Keen to be here. I haven't been here for. Gee, it's been a while. A few months. Yeah, I'd say. So let's see what we can get in here, and um, then it's uh, going to go have some lunch afterwards because it's already 11 o'clock. So. We Wish us luck, and we will see you in there. All right, see you around. Alright folks, so we finished in Savers, it was actually a quick run, it was really light there, not much stuff, not many toys, not many shirts, not, not many books, it was it was the least amount, we were half the time we usually are. Um, did spend about 27, 29 bucks, I'll take you through at the end of course, but picked up um, three books which will pay for the whole lot, uh, that should give me a quick 30, 40 bucks back, uh, got a couple of shirts and I think that was it. Mm. That was, yeah. oh no, no, I got the toys, I got some toys, I got a street shark in there as well, so uh, pretty cool to find that, but yeah, nothing too much, and Cam got nothing, so we're going to do a quick, cheeky little jump into a Salvos and Vinnie's before we head to lunch, um, and then we're done, so wish us luck for this one. Alright team, keeping the ball rolling and I've just paid up, taken a bit of a chance actually. I've, I've purchased, well I've spent $93 on all those all those books. Um, now the comps are and they're in very good condition, they were a bit too expensive and they didn't even give me a discount, the rats, but anyway. Scum. <laughs> uh, the comps are suggesting of something of that quantity around $185 then plus postage. So I'm going to take the bet on that, um, double my money. Worst case, I'll get my money back. So, um, I mean, those books retail at fifteen ninety five each, and I've paid three dollars a pop. Um, there must be about, if I paid ninety three, there must be about thirty books there or so. Um, she she might have given me a discount. I don't think she did though. But no, she didn't. Yeah, I basically paid yeah ninety three bucks, and there's about thirty one books there. I think it was so. Should do all right because I think the comps were suggesting for twenty seven. It was about one hundred and eighty five. So. 
Let's see, have I done a mistake or have I hit gold? We're gonna go to one more shop. Um, don't really have much more money I can spend, but uh, we're gonna go there anyway, go to Vinnie's and uh, see what magic can happen. This Vinnie's actually usually does pretty good for us. Yeah. Yeah. And Cammy's purchased nothing. Nothing still. <laughs> so he's a good lad. Yeah. But he's he's there keeping me honest. Actually, you're a pretty pretty bad example actually. You just say bye, bye, bye. I just know my stuff. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Alright, we'll see you in Vinnie's. Shuffled everything around. <clears throat> Alright team, so uh, what have I paid? I've paid five bucks for one item and got the Gundam um, model figure. I don't know if it's legit, it looks legit. Did a quick search on it. Take a gamble on that one, five bucks, it says as new. Uh, we'll see how we go and I think you picked up a couple of... Just uh, five DVDs for two dollars. Can't That's, go wrong. Can't go wrong, it's pretty good. Um, but I've got so many DVDs at the moment, I do not need any more. But yeah, now we're gonna go have some lunch and we'll show you what it's out. Sorry, and we'll show you what we're having for lunch. Oh, and yeah. um, it's cooking. Then, uh, oh, are they gonna let me go? No. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, Except they need to go that way. That's terrible. That's fine, we'll just turn around. Anyway, traffic is crazy, folks. So are we. <laughs> yeah, Cam is definitely crazy. Anyway, yeah. we'll see you later. <laughs> Alright team, a uh, bit of a short and sharp one kind of day, we haven't really got that much footage, but uh, we really haven't been, I don't know, what do you think, you think we're doing alright? I don't think we're doing too bad, but I've just um, picked up some storage stuff and I need to go now to Officeworks or Bunnings and just get some more tubs, I'm out of tubs, need to get some tubs for storage. Um, and then we're done for the day. So what I'll do is I'll go get the tubs. I'm saying lots of tubs, aren't we? And uh, then I'll take you through the full haul, all the goodies that we got, and uh, price it up, value it up, and see how we've turned out. I'm pretty pretty happy with the day, actually. We've done pretty well. And uh, I've been thinking that maybe once um, the new financial year ticks over, which is on Wednesday, I'll probably most likely Stay away from the thrift for a little bit, just until I've got all my stock take done, ensuring that I've got everything noted down that I have sourced in FY21, because I don't want to be, you know, doing that later and trying to figure out what was FY22 and FY21 when I'm uh, writing it all up for the for the tax man. So probably spend the next week doing that. I might not even go out for the thrift next week. I've got plenty of stock. Um, however, with with the momentum that I'm getting around 10 listings to 15 listings a day, uh, I might need more stock, but I still got that 200 books that I got from that uh, bulk deal. So I've got plenty of options. I really do, and I think this is a good position to be in going into the new financial year. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to start these times, like new financial years, with a solid effort, get the momentum, and uh, just drive it as hard as you can because that's where you get the snowball effect. Now, obviously at this point in time, I am still tracking to a year on year calendar view of trying to earn $100,000 in revenue. Um, and if you haven't seen my latest video, I went through what I need to be doing on a daily basis in terms of listings, assuming they sell, in order to even get anywhere close to getting that $100,000 in revenue. So. The perspective here is that, well, that's, that's over the calendar year, so I've got basically till 
31st of December. Technically, I've actually got until uh, the 10th of Jan 2022. However, I'm rambling. What I'm trying to say is going into FY22, I am still gonna be tracking from a zero number while also track, tracking to my $100,000 revenue goal. Um, I think it will be important to be able to track to both uh, just to make sure that I am running a tight ship uh, for FY22 for my income. Um, and I'm excited to share that. I will be doing a bit more of an update on that, on how that is happening, how that is progressing. So look forward to that one next week since it will be the first week. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, might show you might see you in Bunnings, might see you in Office Works. Otherwise, I'll see you when I get home. All right, team, we're back home and the chickens are out being cheeky in the pumpkin patch, as you can see. Well, it's not much of a left in the pumpkin patch. Huh? Huh? They know they're up to no good. All right, so I'm gonna unpack all this stuff, take you all through it, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we're all done. So, a couple of shirts, which I'll take you through in a second. This guy, Dundam. Um, we've got the DVDs, got some toys, which I'll take you through. These books, should be able to get 40 bucks for. Um, all the JD Rob books, the two glass bells, more toys. Um, that's it. So, not actually too much, but we have got a total of a total of 50 items um, but it's funny because today a lot of it was all bundles um, and if we think about total of everything whoops, we've spent a total hundred and seventy six dollars and forty two cents so when we average it out we're basically sitting around three dollars fifty two cents for the books alone these cost me ninety three dollars um, so I should be able to get 185 for those and then we're looking at the remainder items which is about 19 items We've got roughly $4.79 a pop. But what's cool is these are bundles. So I haven't counted the DVDs individually. I've just counted them as bundles. So we should do all right with those. If I even them out, it's gonna be even cheaper again. So I've listed them how I'm gonna sell them kind of thing. I've, when I say listed, I mean tagged them. Now we did get some toys, which I'm gonna take you through in a second. These shirts, let's have a quick look. Just a band shirt. And this one is... Hey, this is just a cool NASA shirt. So, didn't look it up, but just, just looks cool. I don't think it's legit. The toys, you can see here. Just some old style. This is a big bunch of Beyblades for $6. I should be able to get $20, $30 for that. And then these ones. There's a Joker in here from 1999 from McDonald's, it looks like. And what's interesting is someone was originally selling this SpongeBob in here for $10. Weird. Uh, so pick that up. And the Flintstones in there as well. Wait, no, that's not the Flintstones. That's, that's something else. Um, so a few little things I just take a risk on it. But pretty cool otherwise. This guy as well. A bit more of a more expensive day, but I think it's going to pay off quite well. Plus it's going to give me some more stock for the rest of the uh, week or two while I take inventory. So check out these chickens. So, not too bad of a day, pretty happy with it. Um, um, but yeah, now I need to go get all these boxes, do some sorting, got some big, big work ahead of me to just make sure I'm all done and dusted, wrapped up for the year nicely. But yeah, pretty happy with this, folks. Um, questions, thoughts, concerns, comments, let me know. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang, and hustle. Ciao.